I'd like to show you how you can use chemistry to make just about any color of glow stick that you wish. First, you should recognize that different colors on the glow sticks are produced simply from different dyes. These dyes have to be fluorescent. And what that means is these dyes have to be able to gain energy and then give that energy off as light. When a glow stick is activated by snapping, there's chemicals that mix inside the glow stick and a chemical reaction starts. Now that chemical reaction gives off a lot of energy. And some of the energy from the chemical reaction gets transferred to dyes, fluorescent dyes, that are contained in the glow stick. After those fluorescent dyes gain the energy from the chemical reaction, they give off the, the energy as light. And you get the different colors, like your red or your blue or your green, the different colors come from different, different dyes that are can't contained within the light stick. So just like different marker colors come from different dyes, different glow stick colors come from different fluorescent dyes that are contained within the light stick. Now what I'd like to show you how to do is how to make different colors of glow stick fluid using materials you can find at home. So one example of something that you can do is you can take spinach and you can extract a dye from spinach that is fluorescent. So I've just got some frozen spinach here and I'm going to take some of that frozen spinach and I'm going to place it in this small beaker here and now I'm going to add a little bit of acetone. I'm going to swirl and as I swirl what's happening is a molecule contained in the spinach called chlorophyll is being extracted into the acetone. Now chlorophyll is the pigment in plants that give plants their green color. But as we're going to see, chlorophyll is also a fluorescent dye. Now I'm swirling this quite a bit because I want to make sure that I get quite a bit of the chlorophyll extracted into the acetone. So I feel like I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and pour the chlorophyll extract into a test tube. And of course we see the beautiful green color of the chlorophyll. Very nice green color. Now we want to test to see if this is a fluorescent dye and we can do that using a light stick. So I have a white light stick. I'm going to activate that white light stick and get it glowing. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to cut open the white light stick <coughs> using a pair of PVC pipe cutters. You can use a pair of scissors as well, but I just find these pipe cutters to be a bit more convenient to use. And now I'm going to take the white light stick mixture and I'm going to pour it into the, uh, the chlorophyll extract. I'm going to need to turn the lights off first. When I do this, when I actually pour this in there, the reactants in the light stick mixture, there's a, you remember a chemical reaction going on, that chemical reaction is releasing energy and some of that energy is getting transferred to the chlorophyll molecules and those chlorophyll molecules are taking some of that energy and giving it off as light and you get to see that beautiful red fluorescence from the chlorophyll. Again, the, the light that's coming from the chlorophyll is ultimately coming from the chemical reaction that goes on in the light stick that gets transferred to the chlorophyll dye and then that chlorophyll takes that energy and releases it at light. But that's one way you can get some uh, red. You can sort of make your own red uh, glow stick fluid. Let's try something else. 
This one's quite simple. We're going to take some acetone and I'm going to pour this into a, our test tube here. And the next fluorescent dye I'm going to extract is called erythrocene. Erythrocene happens to be contained in red food coloring. So I'm just going to take a drop of red food coloring and add it to my acetone. We get a nice orange red color as the erythrocene has been extracted. A lot of the erythrocene has been extracted into the acetone. And now we're just going to try the same trick. I'm going to pour the fluid from this white light stick mixture. Remember there's a chemical reaction going on in here. And when I pour that fluid into here, the energy from the chemical reaction will get transferred to the erythrocene and we'll be able to see what color it fluoresces. I'll turn off the lights first. Now I'm going to take the white light stick mixture and pour it into the erythrocene and we see a beautiful bright yellow orange fluorescence that comes from the erythrocene. Fluoresces a lot better than the chlorophyll, doesn't it? Okay. Show you another household item that you can use to extract a chlor uh, excuse me a fluorescent dye. In this case, I'm going to once again put some acetone into a test tube. And now I'm going to add some turmeric powder. Turmeric powder contains a molecule called curcumin, which is a fluorescent dye. I'm just going to add a little bit of this turmeric powder to this test tube. And some of that turmeric will dissolve into the acetone. We get a turmeric extract. This gains sort of a yellowish color, it's kind of a brown yellow color. And once again, I'm going to pour some of the white light stick fluid into. Uh, this extract and the chemical reaction that's going on in here that's giving off energy some of that energy will be gained by the curcumin curcumin molecules which fluoresce let's try that I'll turn off the lights okay there we go add the white light stick fluid fresh white light stick fluid and there we get some beautiful, a nice yellow-green fluorescence. Now you might be surprised just how many things around your home actually contain fluorescent dyes. A lot of fluorescent markers happen to contain fluorescent dyes. And I don't happen to know what the exact dye is that causes the fluorescence. But here's one way you can extract a fluorescent dye from a fluorescent marker. This particular marker is an Expo Neon Yellow dry erase marker. And to extract the dye from the marker, I just draw on the bottom of a beaker. And I kind of draw along the sides as well. And now, after doing that, draw quite a bit because I want to try to extract as much dye as possible. More dye tends to give you more fluorescence and a brighter emission. Once I've drawn in my beaker, I'm going to pour in some acetone into the beaker and I'm going to swirl that around. And as I do that, some of the dye from the marker is going to dissolve into the acetone. Now we'll pour this into one of my test tubes. So I'm going to take my marker extract, pour it into the test tube, get a nice yellow color. And now I'm going to pour some white light, mix, white light stick mixture into my marker extract. See what color fluorescence we get. So 
to get a nice green. So whatever molecule it is in the marker, I don't know, but whatever molecule it is seems to uh, fluoresce a green color when it gains energy from the chemical reaction going on inside the light stick. I'll show you one more. To show you how I get blue, I'm able to get some blue fluorescence. In this case, I just take acetone, pour it into a test tube, and I simply pour in fluid from a white light stick. Now, a white light stick has a number of different dyes in it. Some red emitters, some orange emitters, some yellow emitters, some green emitters, and some blue emitters. And when, as you may know, when all the colors of light are being emitted by an object, that object's going to look white. Now, for some reason, when the white light stick fluid is poured just into acetone, it happens to be that the blue emitter seems to show up the best. I don't know why this is. But it's just an effect that I've observed, observed several times, and this is the way I like to make blue. Pour that in there, and you get a beautiful blue. It's a faint blue, but it's a blue color nonetheless. Let's just try pouring a little more in, down near the bottom of the, of the last bit of the white light stick. So I'm going to pour a little bit more in here from a fresh white light stick. See if we can't get that blue just to be a little bit more bright. And again, for reasons I don't completely understand, when all these, you know, white light sticks have a bunch of different uh, dyes in them that emit all the colors and they appear uh, white, but when you pour those into, simply pour that into um, acetone, it seems that the blue color shows through the best. Hope you try this experiment on your own. If you do and you find new ways to make different colors with different household items, I'd love to hear from you.